Hi everyone, this is Michael for Spirit Comics. Welcome to my channel. This will be day 13 of my 25 days of comic book reviews. This one will be of Future Avengers, the backstory in the Luna Snow one-shot. Now, if you enjoy this type of content, please do subscribe to my channel. Click that notification bell so you don't miss any new uploads. Also, please do give this video a thumbs up and share it around. Don't forget to comment. Alright, it has a little prologue right here at the top. Maybe not prologue, but anyway, it says up here at the top. Uh, Mak Ma Makoto, Chloe, Addie, and Bruno were raised, indoctrinated, and trained by Hydra to defeat the Avengers. After discovering that Hydra was the real villain, everyone but Bruno betrayed the organization and escaped. Now, my I'm trying to say this right. Makoto, Chloe, and Addie are learning how to be true heroes as the future Avengers. And this is something that uh, Marvel Comics does, which I do like. At the front of some of their books, particularly the uh, Avengers, they tell you who's in the story. So, for example, here's Addie, alias Kodak, Skills, Techno, Technopathy, Makoto, alias Hurricane, Skills, Wind Powers, Chloe, alias Charade, Skills, Shapeshifting, and Bruno, alias Twister, skills nanotech cyborg. Right, writer Alyssa Wong. Uh, I don't know what breakdowns are. Uh, finishes. Uh, uh, colorist Donna Sanchez Amara. And letterer v VCs Joe Sabino. Assistant editors Lindsay Kohik and Tom Gronman. Okay, I'm going to continue before I butcher any more names. So it, it opens up at the present day at the future Avengers Tokyo base where. Chloe is trying to find something in Addie's room. He comes in and says, find anything interesting? She's like, ah! Then he leans in and says, you could have just asked if you wanted to use my laptop. What are you looking for? Don't laugh, but after you Showed us those old photos. I guess I got nostalgic. Ah, here they are. I remember that. Nice hair, by the way. Heh, thanks. That was right before our first Hydra mission. Oh, I remember. And then it flashes back to the first Hydra mission. Chloe, then, was a Hydra agent whose alias was Actress. And she was trying to uh, infiltrate the captain's office. And uh, as you can see her there, her name's Captain Tom Tom uh, Tomaki. And down there, so she shapeshifts into this big burly guard or at least she tries to and she salutes 
Reporting for duty, Captain. Hmm. So the captain gets a little close and says, Chloe, your hair is showing. Oops. Sorry, Captain. And that would, you know, put a hamper on the situation. And then she proceeds to give her a lecture about how they how they've been over over that she needs to focus because they're going on a the first mission in two days. She needs to be ready. And she has Anyway, what are you doing here? Aren't you late for training? Yes, Captain. Sorry, Captain. I'll go right away. And she was actually trying to retrieve something from the captain's office. So she meets up with Addie. And he says, how did it go? She's like, ugh, don't ask. And, and he says, it was the hair, wasn't it? It's always the hair. And she starts feeling sorry for herself because the other m members of the team have these really cool powers. And she requests the help of Addie. And he's like, aha, I knew it. Only if you tell me why you were sneaking around in outside Captain Tomaki's office. And she, sa and, and she says, you know, we leave for our first mission on Thursday. The captain said, it's a, it's a test. But a cheat sheet never hurt anyone, right? Oh, that is so uh, that, is, that is so adorable. I think I remember using cheat sheets when I was in school. And they go over that uh, the plans are on the captain's computer, and she, so, and someone needs to get into the captain's office in order to get the plans for the mission. Addie knows that Chloe can do it without getting caught. And he shows her an invention. He's like a, 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 a Tony Stark. You know, before Iron Man Armored Adventures. Or, you know, or, or more or less after. Because that show is cool. He invents something called a quantum thumb drive. All she has to do is plug it into the computer and it starts downloading all the information. So, Miss I Can't Do Anything goes at it again. This time she shapeshifts into the captain. She walks and walks past these guards who salute her. Captain, ma'am. At ease. I can't believe that worked. Of course it did. You're a natural. See, the, I think the message just right here is you need to have a little bit of self-confidence in yourself. You need to believe in yourself from time to time. And then she tells Addie that through a you know, earpiece that the office looks different. Anyway, she inserts the quantum thumb drive. And just as she does, A tells her that the uh, captain is returning. And when she does, she tells Addie to do something, you know, crazy so he does and causes a fire alarm and the download is progressing at 65 percent then it's complete and she's able to turn herself into a cat her her own cat but it looks vaguely reminiscent of um what was her name the cat on the uh, 
Mar on Spider-Man and his amazing friends. Oh, I have Miss Lion. Yeah, Miss Lion. It reminds me of Miss Lion for some reason. Anyways, she's able to get back. And then that's when they introduce uh, Makota. Hydra Super Agent in Training. And Bruno. Hydra Super Agent in Training. And... Then, yeah, you know, it just, uh, Chloe says, maybe I, I didn't need a cheat sheet after all, and that's the end. And I don't, it says here that next, uh, Marvel Future Fight First will, will be Crescent 10. I guess it's this one. So I need to look that up. And there's also more, uh, Future Fight First White Fox. That one looks interesting too. I'm gonna have to check these out. So that uh, that that was an interesting story of the future Adven the future Avengers, which again looks like the same idea that they used for Luna Snow, which they probably got from. DC Comics, when they did Rebirth, they introduced the new Superman, and then eventually created the Justice League of China in the new Superman book, which eventually was canceled. Anyways, I enjoyed that. I hope you did too. I am Michael for Spirit Comics. Thank you for stopping by. This has been day 13 of my 25 days of comic, comic book reviews. Till next time, true readers, may all your news be good news.